Hello everyone, welcome back to Physics HQ. This is Professor Sandeep, your tutor for the class 12th series. Continuing with the lecture series of solving MCQs and sums of class 12th, today we will be covering MCQs of chapter 16 semiconductor devices. So let us check out the first MCQ. In a BJT, largest current flow occurs in the emitter or in the collector in the base or through the collector base junction. Now, we know that BJT has three terminals, emitter, base and collector. The relation between the current at these three terminals is given by IE is equal to IB plus IC. That is emitter current is equal to base current plus collector current. So from this what we can say is the emitter current is greater than the other two currents. So therefore the largest current flow occurs in the emitter. So the correct option is option A. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. A series resistance is connect in the Zener diode circuit to properly reverse bias the Zener or protect the Zener, properly forward bias the Zener or protect the load resistance. So let me draw the circuit diagram over here. Now here if you can see we got an input voltage from here we got output voltage taken out from this load resistance and to this load resistance this Zener diode is connected in reverse bias. So Zener diode is already in reverse bias and this series resistance over here is supposed to limit the amount of current which will flow through this Zener diode. So basically this series resistance is connected to protect the Zener diode. Hope you all understood this. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. A LED emits visible light when its junction is reverse biased, depletion region widens, holes and electrons combine and junction becomes hot. Now let me tell you LED works when the junction is forward biased. So these two options are incorrect because when a diode is reverse biased the depletion region widens. So since it is forward bias, the first option goes off and since it is forward bias, depletion region will not widen, it will become thin. Next what happens is ki when diode is forward bias or the LED is forward bias, the electrons in the conduction band, they come down in the valence band to combine with the holes. So when they fall from a higher energy level of conduction band, into a lower energy level which is the valence band in that case this extra energy is given out and this energy is given out in the form of light and therefore what we can say is LED emits visible light when its holes and electron recombine. Let us go ahead to the next MCQ. Solar cell operates on the principle of diffusion, recombination, photovoltaic action or carrier flow. So solar energy as we know it is freely available and it is basically harnessed by two methods. The first method is photothermal method. In photothermal method the solar energy is converted into heat energy. The example for it is solar cooker or heater and the other one is based on photovoltaic action in which the solar energy is converted into electrical energy and therefore the correct option is option C. Let us go with the next MCQ. A logic gate is an electronic circuit which makes logical decisions, allows electron flow only in one direction, works using binary algebra or alternates between 0 and 1 value. So a logic gate if I represent it by a block over here has one or more than one inputs and it has only one output. The output will depend upon the inputs and the logic which is defined in this block. The simplest logic gate is NOT gate and in NOT gate if we give input as 0 the output will be 1 and if we give input as 1 the output will be 0. So we get inverted output. Let us consider one more gate AND gate. So in AND gate we need to have at least two inputs and there is one output. So in AND gate if the inputs are A and B the output is Y. There is this something called as 
root table for it. The output y will be dependent upon this logic of anding which is given by a dot b. So if I give two inputs as 0 0 the output will be 0. For 0 1 it will be again 0. For 1 0 it will be again 0. For 1 1 it will be 1. So my output will be high only if both a and b are high. That is what this logic over here means. Anding means. Anding matlab kya? Both the input should be high for the output to be high. So I hope you all understood this that electronic gate is an electronic circuit which basically makes logical decisions. So the correct option is option A. Hope you all understood this. Thank you for your time. If you are finding this lecture series useful then show us your appreciation by clicking on the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and classmates. And as you know based on your feedback and suggestions we will be covering key concepts under our 5 minutes lecture series of class 12. So please feel free to let us know the topic you want us to cover. See you all in the next class. This is Professor Sandeep from Physics HQ signing off.